Hi, I'm Seamus Mullen. I'm the chef of Tertulia Restaurant here in New York City. I'm also the author of Hero Food. And I'm at Haven's Kitchen, and I'm gonna show you how to make a simple chilled leek soup for spring. We're gonna start with some baby leeks, and I've got some shallots and a little bit of garlic. First things first, we're gonna heat up some olive oil. I don't wanna get it too hot. Nice little tablespoon of olive oil. These are little baby leeks. Some chopped shallot, and add that in as well. And since we're keeping the temperature low, we can add all of these things in at the same time. That was just a little bit of chopped garlic. And we're gonna gently sweat this together. So this is gonna sweat down for about three minutes. And now what I wanna do is I wanna bring some acidity into this and I wanna glaze these guys a little bit. So we'll take this vinegar and then step back because it gets pretty powerful to smell as the steam comes up like that. It takes about a minute or so. The pan is just about dried out. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna add into the blender here. I wanna get all that stuff in the pan because all of that flavor is gonna really make the soup. And now I'm gonna add in some pine nuts. I've got a fresh lemon, zester. Just go ahead and start zesting away on this stuff. Let's start by pulsing this really quickly. The vegetable stock is gonna go in and then we're gonna, we're gonna blend it up nicely. So I add in our vegetable stock. And we're gonna blend it. And the last step, drizzling in olive oil at the very end. A little bit of kosher salt, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. So that'll mix up as I pour it like that. Now our soup's ready to chill on the refrigerator for a couple of hours. Like any chef, I like to use all of the vegetables. I don't like to throw anything away. So we use the hearts of the leeks to make the soup. Now we're gonna take the tops, the leek greens, and we're gonna make a bright, vibrant green oil that will garnish the soup with at the end. So first things first, add in the chopped leek greens. And then all we're gonna do is add in some good olive oil. Right in. So we got the top on. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this right up to puree. Perfect. So we've blended this up, and this is what we get. A nice, bright, vibrant green oil that we're gonna to use to garnish our soup. All right, let's cook some crabs. Nothing says spring in the restaurant does like soft shell crabs. The one thing you do need to do is you have to make sure that you cut the gills out because they can be kind of bitter. So with a crab like this, all you have to do is, we've already cut the gills out of this, but you just lift up the sides and with a pair of scissors, you snip out the gill on one side and then you turn it over like this and you snip out the gill on the other side. And then the mouth and the tail can be a little bit hard as well. So we just snip off the mouth and snip off the tail and this is what we get. So I'm gonna take these crabs and season them, again, using kosher salt, season them on all sides, like that. And then a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. All right, perfect. Nice and seasoned. And then to fry them up and make them crispy, we wanna dust them a little bit. This is some rice flour and some chickpea flour, or gram flour as it's called. And then we're gonna very, very delicately dust these guys. You don't need very much, just enough to kind of coat it. And that's what we're looking for. We're gonna take our dusted crab and we're gonna go into the smart fryer, which we have preheated to 325 degrees. I'm gonna lower it right in. You can pick the basket out, but I like to lower it into the oil myself, like that. Perfect. And I'm gonna cover it up and we're gonna let it go for about three minutes until it's crispy and cooked all the way through. Check on this guy here. We're gonna just hang this like that. Set the excess oil out. You have a perfect, crispy, soft shell crab, just like that. We'll let it drain here. Now let's get our soup together and finish the dish. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the crab in half. So a nice sharp knife, cut it in half, and then we're gonna take the crab, stand it up inside our little bowl here. Perfect. All right, now I've got my chilled soup. Take the chilled soup and we're gonna pour it around the outside of the crab, like that. Perfect. These are some blanched peas, which I think give it a nice bright spring thing going on. So I'm just gonna sprinkle these around. And then remember that nice green oil we made? Well, this is gonna really, really help the color. Vibrancy, drizzle that green oil around. Herbs make everything better. And here's some fresh mint. Just tear leaves in. Again, not chopping them up. Some basil goes really well, so we got some basil leaves. 
And then the last thing we're gonna use is one of my favorite spices. This is espalette pepper. It is a Basque pepper. It really makes it nice, um, a nice finish, and it gives a little bit of spiciness, which helps. So there you have it. Sopa fría de puerros con cangrejo. Buen provecho. <laughs>